Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor and we are going to dive in on the wedding guest essentials that you need this wedding season. I don't know about you guys, but I am busy with being a wedding guest. I am actually going to three weddings back to back weekends, so it's going to be a little bit crazy, but I figured this video might help you. It's also going to help me to remind myself to get all these things before I go to a wedding. I first want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Vi Ivea. This shoe company is everything. I'm so obsessed with these shoes, but also just their mission statement. Not only are these shoes so chic and stylish, they're also made from sustainable materials, and one pair of shoes is six recycled water bottles. I think that has to be one of the coolest things ever. These shoes are absolutely gorgeous, but also they're extremely comfortable, and that is huge for being a wedding guest. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate being uncomfortable in shoes. I personally love to rip it up on the dance floor and I need a shoe that I'm able to do that with and be comfortable in. I love the heel height of this. I'm 5'7", so I don't like to wear really tall heels. This is perfect. I also picked out this style. This is the Melody Square shoe. I don't know if you guys heard, but flats and like ballet style shoes are coming back. I think these are so sophisticated and would look so nice in an elegant maybe jumper. And the fact that these are made out of six recycled water bottles it's just the coolest thing. It tells a story. Like if you don't know people at the wedding, you get compliments on your shoes. Boom, there you go. You have a conversation starter. I do have a discount code if you guys want to get some money off as well as support me. It is Tay15. That'll get you 15% off. I'm telling you guys, I mean the aesthetically pleasing look of these shoes and this company's Instagram is one thing, but comfort is another. I need to be comfortable and I will be wearing these all wedding season long. Now we're going to go into the tech side of what you need to be the ultimate wedding guest. I'm telling you, not only you will love yourself, but everyone around you will be happy that you brought these items. First things first is a selfie little Bluetooth remote. I think having a selfie stick is great, but honestly, who wants to carry something that big around? But replacing it with just the remote is awesome. It's just the ultimate game changer when like someone's not around to take your picture. You just rest your phone on a glass, boom, you get a group shot. Everyone loves the fact that you brought this little guy. Speaking to that perfect photo moment, I got this little light from Amazon and so far I'm loving it. I mean, it's definitely for a camera versus a phone, but I've already used it to like hold it up and have my phone in my hand as well. There is a bunch of different lighting settings as you can see. It's very light and then you have a strobe moment. I don't know why it does that. This next item has literally saved my life when those moments of you're on your phone all day and then you have to go to a wedding at night that lasts, you know, four to six hours. Your phone's going through it. You're taking all these videos and pictures and your phone dies. This charger right here, baby. This is my anchor charger. Have it in your bag, throw your phone on top of it and you're good to go. It gives a pretty quick charge, which is also great and you can use your phone while it's on there. Now let's talk beauty. There are a handful of items that I wanna to touch on here. Obviously, depending on your bag size, it depends on what you can bring. I always have to bring a purse with me because I carry an EpiPen. Um, if you don't know what that is, I am allergic to a ton of food that could kill me. That sounded awful, but I am allergic to a bunch of different things, so I need to carry an EpiPen with me at all times, especially weddings, because there's lots of food around. Um, but yeah. I always have to carry a purse, something a little bit larger than a handheld clutch. I tend to be able to fit a couple more things in my bag than the average person. Also, if you are driving to this event, I suggest keeping like a little tote bag in your car that you can either put underneath your seat at the wedding or run out to your car if you needed it. First thing is hand sanitizer. This one is just like kind of bougie. Um, this one is by Touchland. It is super slim, so you can fit it in your purse. and. You just give yourself a little spray. You never know how long the bathroom line is gonna be. So having this on hand, I feel like once I use it, everyone around me is like, wait, can I have some of that? Before we start touching our food, hors d'oeuvres, everything like that. I have to smell good, of course, when I go to weddings and I'm not gonna carry around a huge perfume, but this one is one of my favorites.
favorites. This is by the brand Skylar. Another reason why I love this brand is that it's hypoallergenic, I believe. Like I said, I have tons of allergies and one of them is fragrance sensitivity. And this brand, I'm not allergic to any of their scents. So it's really friendly. Um, people won't be like offended by your perfume or it won't be overbearing. Another thing that I might not bring in with me, but I might keep in a bag in a car is my setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If the wedding's outside, if you're sweating, and then you want to like touch yourself up so you look good for photos, reapplying a setting spray, kind of dabbing it around your face, kind of getting that fresh look again is really great for photos. So far I'm really liking this one and I've heard really great things about the Milk Makeup one. This is one of my holy grails not only for weddings but also for like my day-to-day -day life. This is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash Lift. It is the heated eyelash curl. Curler. I have extremely stubborn lashes and they tend to lose their curl like throughout the day if I have makeup on all day they'll start to like fall or if I cry because I literally cry at every single wedding I go to my lashes will just start to fall and they need an extra lift and I definitely don't feel comfortable taking like a traditional crimping eyelash curler to my eye after I have mascara on I used to do that in like seventh grade and I actually had a friend who ripped all of her eyelashes out tragic but this is really great. I just heat it up, turn it on, and it will help curl my lashes back, bring them back to life. Truly really lifesaver. And in order to do any of that or to apply any makeup products, of course, having a compact mirror on hand. I have just a bunch of these laying around. This is another one that you'll have people asking if they can use it. I mentioned crying. This seems a bit obvious, but don't forget tissues. Get a little little travel size bag to go. Another one that seems kind of obvious to me, but I have to remind myself every time I go to a wedding is bring dollar bills. Maybe to throw at someone when they're dancing on the dance floor, but Honestly, having dollar bills to tip the people around you, the workers, the bartenders, even if it's open bar, that's just like everyone's daily reminder. You gotta tip your working people. <laughs> Another thing that I like to remind people if they're going to an outdoor wedding is get bug spray or the like bug spray wipes. I have a horror story. I came back from a wedding the next day my legs looked like I had the chicken pox. I got eaten alive, didn't even notice it. Save yourself. I mean, those little wipes are great. The last two things are things that really are for on the way home or on the way out. First thing being liquid IV. I feel like this is genius. I've seen people like serve these at their wedding. Liquid IV are a lifesaver. They're basically just like a hydration supplier. Truly, your body will thank you later or the next day if you have a little bit of a hangover these tend to help me out and the last thing if you're not staying overnight or if you are or if you just want to have this in your bag is a makeup remover y'all taking your makeup off after a wedding is one of the worst things because it's late you just want to go to bed the last thing you want to do is remove all that makeup so if you have something in the car on hand or on the way to a hotel in your bag you want to take your makeup off at the wedding do it. it just makes life a little bit easier when you get home or if someone's like like been crying or if you're like taking care of someone and then their makeup looks horrible you're gonna save them at the end of the day you're gonna save them from a messy face that is it for my wedding guest essentials this was a very different style video but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already for those who already are subscribed thank you so much i appreciate you and all your support again thank you to vivaya for sponsoring this video you guys i would never promote a brand that I didn't believe in and I'm all about quality and I wouldn't lie to you guys these shoes are amazing keep an eye out for some get ready with me's for being a wedding guest if you guys want to see what I'm wearing subscribe you'll be able to see have a wonderful week ahead bye guys